Hello, I am Dr. Jimmy Douglas and today we will see the symptoms of sinusitis and also understand whether is sinus infection contagious. Sinusitis is inflammation of the mucosa of the sinus. The newer term is rhinosinusitis. A rhino means relating to the nose. Sinuses are air containing cavities in certain bones of the skull. They contain air to make the skull lighter and to protect against trauma. Sinuses surrounding the nose are called paranasal sinuses. The four paranasal sinuses are frontal sinus, maxillary sinus, ethmoid sinus and sphenoid sinus. Inflammation of all the four sinuses is called panrhinosinusitis. Sinusitis could be any of these depending on the duration of the symptoms. Acute sinusitis is less than 4 weeks. Subacute sinusitis is 4 weeks, 12 weeks. Chronic sinusitis more than 12 weeks. And there is a recurrent sinusitis. This is caused either with a virus or a bacteria. If it is caused by a virus, then it is called acute viral rhinosinusitis. And if it is caused by a bacteria, acute bacterial rhinosinusitis. Acute viral rhinosinusitis. The symptoms and clinical features include nasal congestion or blockade, runny nose, also called as rhinorrhea. This is free flowing thin discharge of nasal fluid, sneezing, low grade fever, acute bacterial rhinosinusitis. It is caused when acute viral sinusitis is worsening. The virus damages the cilia and mucous membrane which causes edema and which in turn blocks the nasal passage. It usually follows after the patient has had a common cold and is not yet recovered. The most common bacteria responsible for rhinosinusitis are these displayed and the clinical features include facial pain or facial pressure is the main symptom. There is pain originating in any part of the face, nasal blockage, nasal discharge which is thick colored and opaque, hyposmia that is decreased sense of smell or ability to detect odors, anosmia that is inability to smell anything, cough, fever, headache, fullness of ear, dental pain and halitosis that is bad breath. Depending on which nasal sinus is infected, the symptoms slightly differ. For example, when frontal sinus is infected, then frontal headache is prominent and shows characteristic periodicity which starts with walking and slowly increases and reaches a peak at midday and slowly subsides. It is commonly called office headache as it is present during office hours. There is tenderness when pressed on the frontal sinus with fingers. Is sinus infection contagious? The patient may be transmitting the virus when he coughs or sneezes as it spreads by droplets and others can get the virus. But the chances of others being infected and that leading to sinusitis depends on the immunity status of that individual. It is always important to sneeze into your elbows and cover your mouth while you cough. Thank you for watching and see in the next video.